Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new series I'm starting called Code Muscle, where I take a small bite-sized game dev problem and show you a clean, simple solution for it. So that brings us to today's question. How can I take a 3D character model and instantly apply any animation to them? There are a lot of ways to go about this, but if you're an indie dev, I highly recommend using Unity's Mechanim system. It's gonna save you so many hours of painful animator spaghetti, and trust me, I've been there, still having flashbacks. Let's spin up a fresh Unity project and I'll show you how to get this working in just a few minutes. All right, here we are. We're using something called Mechanim, which is Unity's animation system made specifically for humanoid character rigs. And here's the best part. We can grab free character models and animation packs that are already Mechanim compatible right off of the Unity asset store. Here's one that I like. It's an animation pack with 88 free animations. There's also a paid version with 1,398 animations, which is probably more than you would ever need. I'll link this below, but just search it on the asset store, add it to your assets, and click open in Unity. Then head over to the package manager and import that pack into your project. Now let's take a look. Go into the packs folders, uh, find the prefab uh, characters folder, and then drag in the RPG character prefab to your hierarchy. If your character shows up looking pink, that's just a shader issue with Unity 6 and URP. So to fix that, just go to rendering, render pipeline converter, check material upgrade, and then click initialize and convert. Boom, materials should be fixed. We've now got this stylized character, pretty neat. Let's check out these 88 animations. We're not gonna actually look at all of them, but. Um, let's click the RPG character, then in the inspector, find the animator component. Double click the animator controller to open it up. Now switch over to the animation window. And if you don't see this, just go to window animation and then click animation here. With the RPG character selected, the animation dropdown should now show all 88 animations. So let's just pick a random one. Um, I'm choosing this like uppercut one and you know, just hit play here and then boom. Our guy's just throwing haymakers now. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I don't wanna use this default character model. And that's totally fair. Let's bring in a different character model. So I'm gonna grab one off of the Unity Asset Store, but really there's no limit to the flexibility here. You could use one that you made in Blender or wherever, as long as it supports Mechanim. So just add it to your assets, uh, import it again here, and drag in what's gonna be the human male prefab now from this pack. And if we have that same pink texture issue, uh, no worries, just hit the render pipeline converter again and fix those materials. So this model is you know, a little more realistic, um, a little more stylized, maybe it fits your game better, but of course you can use whatever character model that you want. So you'll see that it has its own animator, but it only has a single idle animation at the moment. So let's go ahead and just steal the full animation set from our other character. So how do we do this? Well, all you need to do is go and swap the animator controller in the new character's inspector with the one from the RPG character. Now we can preview any of these 88 animations on this new model. Some may look a little funky, but overall, the retargeting really should work great here. Before we go just a little deeper, only 10% of you watching are subscribed. So if you like this content, hit that subscribe button and give this video a like, especially if you're into 3D and open world content. So now what if you can't find the animation that you need? You've got a few different options here. So if you're really hardcore about this, of course you can go import your character into Blender or something like that and create your own animations. But that's, that's a whole nother beast. I'm not gonna get into that. There's another easier path which is a little bit less flexible, but you can still find almost anything that you need, which is Mixamo, Adobe's free animation library. Let's say that we want a super random animation. Uh, I'm gonna try golf swing. So how about a golf swing? There's just no way they would have that, right? Well, let's search up golf swing and well, it actually looks like they have a few. So click the download button. And what I like to do here is I choose the options without skin, 60 FPS and FBX for Unity then just click download and drag it into your project. So this is perhaps the most important part. It probably will not work right out of the box. So we need to make a few adjustments. First, you need to set the rig type to humanoid in the import settings. Now let's try dragging the animation into your animator and check it in the animation tab. 
Okay, and wow, this is looking terrible, I'm not gonna lie. And I think this is where a lot of people get confused and stumped. So there's a good reason for why this isn't working. In our character's animator, you'll notice that root motion is not checked. This basically means that our animation will not physically move the center position of our character. And I just want to show an example of this. So in Mixamo, you can see that the default animation shows root motion. The character is actually walking forward as part of the animation, so its central position is actually moving. If root motion is off, it's kind of the same as checking this in place box here. So now you can see the character is just walking in place and root motion is effectively off. So as a summary, if you apply an animation with root motion to an animator with root motion off, you tend to get some really crazy, terrible looking animations. So how can we fix this? Go to the animations rig tab. In the animation tab, check bake into pose for root position and rotation, then reapply the animation. If the animation window bugs out, thanks Unity, just remove the clip from the animator and redrag it in. So now try the animation again. Uh, that golf swing should be looking pretty clean now. And just like that, we've applied a custom animation from Mixamo and applied it to any humanoid model in Unity using Mechanim. This workflow can save you hours and it makes your game feel way more polished. So if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to drop a comment below. I try to reply as fast as I can. And hey, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button on this video and help boost me into the good YouTube algorithm universe. Peace, y'all.